few days ago, I made a poll so that you guys could select what you wanted to watch next. And 89% of you were interested in watching me as to how I became a game developer as well as an animator as the age of 15. So in this video, I am going to explain everything from how I came up with an idea to do programming and how was the journey till now. I don't usually do videos like this. Actually, I haven't done anything like this. So I don't know how to start or how to keep the flow. But I am going to do it anyway because I want to learn how to make this kind of voiceover videos and every learning phase has a first phase which is usually not so good. Okay, without talking shits, let me start. Before starting, let me tell you that I will not only tell how I became a programmer but also I will tell how I became an animator. So it's double offer for you guys. Let's start the actual topic. It was the day when I was a small kid enjoying my own world. I was a 7th grader. I had a YouTube channel which had around I think 1.5 thousand subscribers. Although it was not a big number, it meant a lot to me. I mean extremely a lot. I had worked for around 8 months on that channel. One night when I was going to bed to sleep, my mom came to my room with her phone and told me, son, there is a mail from Google, have a look at it. I took her phone and I read. The mail said that the password, recovery email and recovery number were changed. You all might be thinking that I panicked and cried all over the night, right? But you are wrong. What I did was I read the mail and went to sleep as if nothing had happened. Cause I was in 7th grade and I didn't understand whatever the heck it was written. The next morning, I opened YouTube but I could no longer access my account. I read the mail that I had got the previous night and I understood the message. I died. Yeah, I literally died. Not from outside but from inside. After that what I thought is that I would become a programmer, hacker to be exact, and hack the channel and take it back. My brother was learning programming at that time. He was learning Java. I asked him which was the best programming language used for hacking. He replied, Python. I didn't even bother to listen rest of the words he was going to say. I quickly opened the Google Chrome, downloaded Python and PyCharm. After the software got downloaded, I opened PyCharm. By the way, if you don't know what PyCharm is, then just think it as a notepad where a Python programming language can be written. Yeah, and then I opened PyCharm opened YouTube and was the new Boston's tutorial cause his tutorial were the first one that popped at the top when I typed python tutorials. I continuously learned it for 6 days and I stopped. Wanna know why? Well, I didn't understand anything after the 4th day of learning. I was trying to learn what a function is but I didn't understand cause I was freaking small boy of grade 7 and yeah, I stopped it all. I opened another YouTube channel and worked on that for about 9 months, 8 months and 23 days to be exact. And it got banned after I got 5000 plus subscribers, 5129 to be exact. I then learned 3D modeling and animation. And the main reason why I learned 3D modeling is because my brother's plan was that he would make games where he would do programming and I would do graphic related things. While I was learning 3D animation, I opened another YouTube channel and uploaded 3D animations on that channel. But I didn't get any views so I stopped it. I stopped not only YouTube channel but also stopped learning 3D animation. And now you all might be thinking why the heck did I stop 3D animations, right? Well, the thing is that my brother and I had only one laptop. That laptop had around 2GB RAM, no graphics card and Intel Pentium processor. It used to shut down automatically after 1 or 2 hours due to overheating. First thing is my brother and I used to fight to use the laptop and another thing is the laptop didn't want me to learn 3D animation due to heating problems. So I stopped it all. After a few months, I wanted to have a laptop of my own where I could do anything that I want and I didn't want to fight with my brother to use it. So I started my current main channel which is AS Animation. I used to make videos when my brother was in his school or when he had went out. Oh man, I still remember the sponges and kicks I got for using the laptop without my brother's permission. Even my parents used to shout at me for using laptop instead of doing some other useful things. 
The drama or that thing went on for around 6 months until my main channel started to get some views. Then after 2 or 3 months, I got my first YouTube income. My parents then realized that I was not wasting my time using laptop, so they managed to get me an old PC which had 1GB RAM. At least I got that and you don't know how happy I was. Ok, let me tell you, what will you guys do if you found 1 million dollar on road? Answer me. I was more happy than that, cause that PC was my own and I didn't have to fight with anyone to use it. It went on for few months, I finished my 10th grade. I bought a new laptop which I'm using right now. Although this laptop can't handle every software that I use, but still I'm somewhat happy with it cause no one except me can use it. And here is the main thing you all were trying to hear. July 23, 2019, it was my birthday. I decided to learn programming language again. July 24 was the first day of my grade 11 and I started learning programming a day before that. I decided to learn Java. I know that it was a lot harder than Python. I meant a lot 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 harder. But still, I started the journey again. Before moving on, let me tell you, today, the day I'm writing all these crap things is 22nd of June. 2020. Tomorrow is 23rd of June and it will officially be 11 months of me learning programming. Ok, let's come to the point now. I continuously learned Java. Oh man, I had literally watched more than 50 videos just to understand what the heck was enumerations. If you don't know what enumeration is, just think it as a small part of Java, which I have never ever used until now. But still, I learned it. Just to learn that one thing, I literally watched more than 50 videos. Well, to be honest, I didn't learn programming every day, cause I also had to make videos for my main channel, and we all know making animations take a lot of time. I somehow managed to learn programming and do animations for second channel. And whenever exams were near, I used to stop programming and do animations and studying instead of animations and programming. After around 6 or 7 months, I myself declared that I had learned Java and I decided to fight with my previous enemy. Guess who? No, no, it's not my brother. It's the damn Python programming language. Let me tell you guys, if anyone says that Python is easy, just punch their face, break all of their teeth, kidnap their wife or husband and everything you wanna do. Cause if you are learning Python as a first programming language, then Python is going to punch your face, break your teeth, kidnap your wife or husband and all other things. But this thing is clear that Python is easier than other programming language. I mean a lot easier. But if you are learning programming for the first time and you chose Python, then guys good luck. It's not going to be that easy. After I learned Java, I started Python. I learned it within one or at most one and a half months. Cause I had already learned one of the most hardest programming language which is Java. So I find Python a lot easier. After learning Python, I again used Java for a month and then I started using Android Studio. If you don't know what it is, let me tell you. It is a software which is used to make Android apps and not usually used to make Android games, just apps, remember this. I don't say I completely learned Android Studio, but I can say for sure that I had learned it till the point where I could make simple Android apps. Then I stopped programming for 2 months. Now you may be shouting at your phone saying why the fuck did I stop programming for 2 months, right? Well, 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 my board exams were coming and I had to prepare for that. Later my board exams got postponed and is still postponed. I stopped programming for 2 months for no fucking reasons. After the exams got postponed, I started programming again. But I didn't find fun in making Android apps. I thought making Android games would be fun instead of making Android apps. So. I searched for top Android game making softwares and find out about Unity. Unfortunately, Unity doesn't support Java. But as I previously said, I had also learned Python. But for God's sake, freaking Unity didn't support that too. Unity supports C Sharp and JavaScript. Since C Sharp is quite a bit similar to Java, I learned it within 2 or 3 weeks. Now all those programmers out there watching this video might be yelling and cursing at me, saying, why it took 2 or 3 months to learn C when I knew Java? Well, calm down guys. 
The main reason is that I hadn't been doing programming for 2 months and I wanted to relearn from start if I had forgotten anything. After about 2 weeks of learning c -Sup, I officially started to use Unity. If you guys have been watching my previous videos, then that is the result of using Unity for around 2 or 2 and a half months. So this is my entire journey, I guess. If you didn't like this and you felt like I have wasted your time with these shitty things, then you are completely free to touch the dislike button. I won't force you to like unless you actually like the video. But before ending the video, I would like to say something. If you guys are trying to learn or thinking of learning programming, then just remember that it is not as easy in the beginning. But as you progress, it actually becomes interesting and you want to learn it even if you don't understand anything. The main thing that is required is the will to do so. I don't know if I learned everything quickly or it is normal, but the main thing is I don't hang out with my friends that often. Instead, I just learn programming or do animations for my other channel. After one month from tomorrow, I'm going to celebrate both my birthday as well as one year of experience of programming. And yeah, I'm currently 15 years old. And listen here all of you who watch both of my channels. Most of you comment things like why I upload videos late on both of my channels. I think you got the reason. If not, then listen. I'm still learning programming. I have to make videos for this channel and over that I also have to make animations for my next channel. Do you really think I can do every single thing in one day? If you are still here then I guess subscribe and please let me know if my commentary was nice or what should I improve. Thank you.